design degree here at Belmont, and I also was the costume designer on NSF's Hamlet. So we noticed that a lot of the characters wore specific colors, mm -hmm. and um, we were just wondering what the thought process was behind those color choices. Yes, there was a very strong design concept behind each character. Uh, I was her, so the director's kind of concept words, uh, kind of buzzword was uh, jewel tones. She wanted jewel tones in the world. So when I thought, and she wanted to define kind of warm and cool between the Hamlet side and the Polonia, if you will. So my, I went further than that to kind of help create, to help the audience get a sense of who characters were and define and differentiate between groups. Um, my idea was crown jewels and the jewels in the crown and so I and then when I went further each character eventually represented was represented by a type of jewel or stone so we knew that Gertrude as the queen usually it's a very royal color purple is a royal color so my stone for her was amethyst and Claudius was sapphire Hamlet was slate um, because and I wanted him to be very matte without any kind of shine so it all was very intentional each color choice uh, uh, and then the even the characters that came later, um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, were lapis lazuli, a kind of mix. It's the blue uh, stone with the mix of yellow veining that goes through it. So each character had a very specific um, stone, mineral, or jewel. So I found the jacket, actually. I found it at um, a store, and I thought, oh my gosh, this has skulls lining. Yes, I need it. I love the, the inside surprise. And then it had the interesting kind of hidden skull in the back. And I thought it was a wonderful foreshadowing technique to show, you know, it's a little bit of a rebellious, but it's also like, hmm, yes, it's a little literal, but I, I kind of liked it. it. She was not quite all in white. She was a pale pink dress, which everybody thought was white, which is perfect because she's very innocent. And um, so I slowly added flower details throughout um, at significant points in the plot to show her her mind kind of losing its losing itself, kind of her feeling like she's losing herself in this plot. So, and again, another foreshadowing of the fact that she will end up in the ground in the heart of the earth. So moments with there was the little belt, the little floral belt. She puts that on when she's supposed to spy on Hamlet. He just, you know, I mean, because at first she's so innocent, pure, and it's, it's all wonderful. She's that perfect princess figure, very inspired by Princess Kate. Um, and then as you see more floral pattern enter, it's coming up from the bottom instead of the top. And so I wanted her to look like she was literally growing into the ground throughout the play. I know that purple is a color of royalty. Yes, that yes. Gertrude is always wearing. And another thing I noticed about Gertrude too <laughs> is that the shade of purple got darker. Yes, it did. <laughs> what they, was that about? Well, the play got darker. Yeah. As evil and the rottenness crept into Denmark, I mean, not not everything is going to be the same. Yeah. So yeah, I wanted her to darken as she went through because she's also being infected by this this horrendous truth that she's either aware of or not and so and then also for practical purposes I mean there's a funeral at the end so she would be darker you put her in the, the black cape and, um, but yes at the end I wanted this I wanted them to show and he, as Claudius too throughout the play he got darker his yeah. turtlenecks got darker and, and actually you may be noticing that Claudius because I used turtlenecks on him it was less modern looking to yeah. me it's a really nice European style, and that's why I wanted to take it out of like the American version of. I think it really helped Sam as Hamlet. He, it gave him so much to do on stage because he could sit, he could be hiding or he could not, and it gave him a real chance to show who he really was under the mask and use it intentionally. Was the mask supposed to be something that? Um evident or visible to the other actors on the other characters when yeah. it was something they could see the they mask see yes it. yeah okay. yeah they saw him wearing the mask and they were like this guy's gone why is he walking yeah. around that's the whole that was okay. the point I so that sure. they saw him wearing this mask and like 
his clothes were becoming very unkempt, and there was something is wrong with Hamlet. 